How much has this trial cost you? It's cost us roughly £8,000. And how do you feel about that? I don't suppose anyone likes the idea of spending that money for no reason at all, you know. Does it leave you broke, or how does it, it leave you? It doesn't leave us broke, but at the same time, it's a lot of money to have to pay out when money's innocent, you know. A lot of people have got the impression from this trial that Clubland, London, is very tough. Do you think it is? You've run a couple of clubs. Well, in all clubs you get an occasional drunk, you know, and sometimes they have to be slung out, and that's why there's dormant in there, but um, I suppose it's like Clubland all over the world, really. It's just the same as... I don't suppose it can be that bad, because people won't go to them, really, would they? Ronald, what do you think about Clubland in London? Well, I think most clubs are very respectable, you know, and uh, I don't think there's any trouble at all in them, except occasionally. Can you tell me why, during the trial, you didn't give evidence? Well, we was advised by illegal people not to give evidence. Why was that? Well, the law of this country is well established. The onus is on the prosecution to prove its case. Uh, counsel for these uh, these two men and their in the third defendant were quite satisfied in their own mind, as I in my own humble way was as well, that the prosecution had not proved their case and there was no obligation on these men to go and, 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 and to make any answer to any of the allegations against them. What are you going to do now that it's all over? I'd like to have a bit of family life now, you know. I intend to get married in the near future. Well, I did before this case, but it's put back over the case and um, let's get married as soon as possible, you know. Ronald, what are you going to do now? Well, I'd like to go abroad for a short while and uh, then I'd like to be left alone. <laughs>